Hey, 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 Vani, Vani. Yeah. What song do you want to hear next? Do you want to hear a Christmas song by Nat King Cole? Mm-hmm. A Christmas song by Luther Vandross? Yeah. Or <laughs> a Christmas song by The Temptations? <laughs> Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You got it, baby yeah, girl. Just not trusting. You know, you're just a little too happy at Christmas, baby. And why not? It's my favorite holiday. Mm. It's the one time a year my mother managed to open her heart. She'd look at us with that sweet smile of hers and say, y'all damn kids gonna have a good Christmas if I have to beat it into you. <laughs> Absolutely the last Christmas I'm doing this. Yeah. This bell is pinching my big toe. <laughs> you two look so adorable. You know, Mom, when we were six, we were adorable. Now we're ashamed for a man and God. Correct you, son. That's man, God, and 500 of our closest friends. Now, mm -hmm. shut up and smile, Kermit. It's Christmas. <laughs> Just love Christmas. <laughs> yeah, me too, man. Christmas sweaters, Christmas music, Christmas Washington. Mm. Oh, she's a dancer down at the Chi Chi Lounge. <laughs> hey, man, come on over here and taste some of this eggnog, dude. Don't mind if I do. All right. What do you think? You put it in a bottle with a rag, and you can throw it at a tank in Belfast. <laughs> Hey, D, you remember that song we made up in high school? My baby wants to spend all my money this Christmas. <laughs> oh, yeah, how did that go? Uh, um, oh, it's Christmas, and we're broke. All my girls getting is a can of Diet Coke. That's right. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, my, my girl, girl wants to spend, spend all, all my money, money but, but she <laughs> won't think it's funny when she's giftless and alone. At Christmas. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, well. When the boys start singing, you know they've gotten into Millsap's nasty little eggnog. You want some? Oh, yeah, hook me up. <laughs> mm. Ooh, if I had a tail, I'd wag it. <laughs> my first Christmas in my new house, and I got all that sense was my beautiful wife, my best friend, and my eggnog. Yeah. So where are your kids? Yeah. We got kids. <laughs> no, where are they? Oh, they're getting ready for the rehearsal at school. Oh, yeah, the Christmas present. Mm -hmm. Hey, is Michael playing Joseph? You know, the kid is new out here. I don't want him to make him be the camel's butt or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it's not the Christmas story. It's a celebration of the winter solstice. Something about the sun overcoming the power of darkness. Big deal. Back when we came from, they just called that morning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, Merry day. Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Oh, hey, is that your eggnog? Mm -hmm. Can I have some? Uh-uh, you gotta drive us all to the pageant rehearsal tonight. Oh, come on, man, I'm a big man. You haven't got enough alcohol in this house to get me to point A. And hey, what about the time you had two beards and tried to prove to everybody you could walk on your hand? Hey, I'm telling you, I can do that. I can prove it right now. Let me... Oh, no! no! <laughs> How come I gotta drive all the time anyway? Because the police always stop me. <laughs> No, 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 leaves. You can't unfurl and you can't wither. You have to scatter lightly. <laughs> and leaf hands. <laughs> what the hell is this? I don't know, but that's not how you scatter. Oh, really? Yeah, it's more of a stutter step, right? Yeah, yeah like right. this. There we go. All I know is you cats better not ever go to prison. <laughs> okay, lots of energy, kids. It's time for the big storm. <laughs> what are those costumes? Well, Ronnie's a cloud, Sydney's a snowflake, and Michael's a... Uh... TV dinner, huh? Okay, now the clouds fill up and they burst with wind. 
<laughs> okay, spin, spin. You're doing it, but I don't see it. Now, listen, draw on your pain. Something traumatic from your childhood? Got it, baby. <laughs> now, Snowflake, any actress in town can give me that twinkle. Surprise me, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, look at my sin, and you keep on twinkling, baby! You're powerless! Oh, oh my God, like he needed the drum. <laughs> this looks like some old devil worship to me. I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting my prayer on, just in case. Oh, that's it. Uh, uh, look, uh, my man. Uh, uh, I'm Daryl Hughley, the father of Snowflake and the little disco ball right there. <laughs> Let me ask you something. Where, where's the baby in the manger? You know, little elves, flying reindeer, something realistic. It's a solstice pageant. It's about the power of nature as the sun travels to its farthest distance from the earth. And then Jesus come to save the world, right? <laughs> no, then darkness and light battle it out in the primordial eternal struggle. And then Santa come down to find out who been naughty or nice, right? <laughs> The Grinch go to Hoobie? No. Clarence get his way? Mr. Hughley? What, did a little crippled boy at least get a turkey or something, man? <laughs> Mr. Hughley, please back off, for I have pepper spray in my fanny pack. From the top! All I want to know is why Jesus can't come to his own birthday party. I'm telling you, when lightning strikes, I don't want to be nowhere near that school. <laughs> If it does, stand there Smokey the janitor, because lightning never strikes the same place twice. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? How can you just sit there and let them destroy your traditions like that? Daryl, it's very politically correct out here. We live in a community where people try not to offend. Yeah, it's like when Mrs. Millmore protested the idea of spring break because it was unfair to the other three seasons. <laughs> oh man, how can you mess up something as perfect as Christmas? I got such great memories. Stapling our sweat socks to the cardboard fireplace. <laughs> Listen to my daddy cuss us out when they try to put our bikes together with a butter knife. <laughs> yeah, and I remember you riding down the street with parts flying every which way. <laughs> and my daddy go, oh boy, them just extra pieces. <laughs> I'm telling you, tradition is important. There are certain things you should be able to count on year in and year out, like Dick Clark's New Year's Rock and Eat. Yeah. Hey, you know, we had a tradition at our place. Every year we'd get the same present. Rock 'em, sock 'em, robots. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Those things would last like a couple of days, but we didn't care. We just rip them out and throw them at each other. That's why my brother can't hear out of his left ear. Hey, dude. Remember the Christmas pageants at Second Fourth Street Baptist? Yep. And I was Joseph three years straight. Yeah, hmm. and they fired you for kissing the Virgin Mary while she was singing Oh Holy Night, too. <laughs> well, I was the baby daddy. <laughs> There was a pretty girl, a straw bed, and a catchy tune. <laughs> Baby, no, that is more than a catchy tune. That is my favorite Christmas song. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. Come on, baby, come on, sit down. Come on. Oh, that's such a beautiful song. <laughs> Yeah, well, you won't hear it sung at the school, Aretha. <laughs> a couple years ago, West Hills Elementary was sued because a choir sang Christmas and Hanukkah songs. They were outlawed for being culturally insensitive. Yeah. Not even Silent Night. Offends non-Christians. Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. Offends non-Jews. We three kings. Offends feminists. They tried changing the words to we three queens, but some men took offense. <laughs> Oh, man, this is crazy. Christmas is the time for everybody, regardless of race, creed, or color. We should have a pageant that reflects the tradition that we grew up with. Yeah, like, like, like Grandpa hooking up the horses for the first sleigh ride. Or turning on the Christmas lights and watching the roaches scatter. <laughs> run, Rudolph, run! That's a good one, too. Merry Christmas, Daryl. <laughs> See that? My eggnog can bring peace to the Middle East. Yeah. Yeah. I admit that that pageant we saw, it was pretty awful, but, I mean, the kids were having fun right now. Isn't that what Christmas is all about, huh? Now, my babies was just out there spinning and twinkling and loving it. <laughs> hey, baby, I don't know what you saw, but I saw them kids spinning and twinkling straight to hell. That was a pagan ceremony, I'm telling you. That man was summoning Satan with a conga drum. Well, if you're that serious about it, Daryl, you know the PTA's holding a meeting tomorrow night at the school. Maybe we can bring it up then. You know what? 
I think I will. Tomorrow, we're gonna go down there and save Christmas. Are you guys with me? Yeah! yeah. Right, but first, we're gonna tighten up this egg, dog. Yeah! <laughs> oh, oh, and the book drive raised $300. Yeah! Now, don't forget, we've got the car wash next month. Yes, Mrs. Millmore, we will be using non-phosphate biodegradable detergent. <laughs> Any new business? Ah, Daryl Hughley, you have the floor. <clears throat> yeah, I'd like to talk to you about the uh, winter solstice pageant, or what I like to call winter warlocks on parade. I agree. I find the whole idea of summoning spirits to be extremely disturbing. You said the same thing about the fifth grade production of Our Town, Philistine. <laughs> Everyone is entitled to their opinion. My wife and I caught a rehearsal of the pageant, and frankly, we don't get it. What is not to get? <laughs> the Earth God Balthar and his minions of cycloptic flying fire ghosts join forces with the goddess Helios to overcome Odin, the dark priest of night. It is very basic stuff, people. <laughs> Uh, all parents in favor of canceling the schoolyard seance say I. Aye. Aye. It's canceled. Fine. You think you can do better? Then go back to your tired Judeo-Christian rituals. But you remember one thing. That's the lawsuit of 95. This is a public school. You cannot mention God's name. You cannot mention the tooth fairy without some bishop's panties getting all rolled up into a bunch. <laughs> now, you'll excuse me. I have to go cast my buck-naked version of the Nutcracker. Goodbye. <laughs> well, now that the devil just left, I think we plan a real holiday pageant. One where the kids still wear embarrassing costumes, but we know all the songs. Something everybody can be part of. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on, Daryl. You know, I love this idea, but you cannot do this on school property. Why? The lawsuit of 95 clearly prohibits the promotion of any beliefs that are actually held by the members of the community. Then we'll have it at my house. But who's going to direct? I will. Well, who's going to build the sets? Dave! <laughs> You're going to need 20 or 30 costumes. Who's going to do that? Yvonne and Sally. <laughs> you, Mr. Hughes. No, no, no. God bless you and you and you. God bless us, everyone. <laughs> uh. Okay, people, 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 work with me. Only three days until Christmas. Dave, Dave, Dave. How long can it take to put a manger together? Mangers from Ikea. Directions are in Swedish. And I am working with this. <laughs> Well, hurry up, Sven. Jesus will be old enough to have a wife and two kids by the time you finish. <laughs> hey, hey, Sam. I hope you make those lights sing, because our costume department's kind of weak. I got no budget. I got no equipment. But luckily for you, I am a genius. Check this out. Huh? All right. See, I didn't know I had this much power. You don't. What you have is an extension cord and a neighbor who's in Miami. <laughs> Shame making fun of our costume. Ow, mommy. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I thought you were your daddy. Come here, let me see if I can see. <laughs> Sally, this is all wrong. He's too sparkly. The baby Jesus was born in Bethlehem, not Las Vegas. <laughs> oh, darn, and I was about to sew him some sideburns and a pot belly. <laughs> hey, hey, Bonnie, about the Virgin Mary, I was thinking of something softer, holier. Just what you're doing right now. That's, that look nice. Ooh, them costumes, something else. Ooh. Now, see, this is what it's all about, Michael. We are bringing people together, because you can't celebrate nothing. You have got to celebrate something. I don't want to be Joseph. I want to be Big Baby Jesus from the Wu-Tang Clan. I'll do it, Mr. Hughley. I'll be Joseph. I'll be the father of Mary's baby. <laughs> Sydney, now you know Daddy loves you more than life itself. Yes, Daddy. But I need you to suck it up and be Ronnie's wife. Ronnie, you kiss her. You're a dead man. <laughs> hello, Mr. Hughley. Well, hello, Mrs. Inez. I brought the piñata. Where should I hang it? Hang it somewhere high. That way the kids won't break it. <laughs> and uh, my husband 
wants to know if we're gonna have the mariachis? Oh, I'm sorry. But this is a family play, no drinking. I'll tell you what, after it's over, maybe we'll let you mix up a batch. Good of you to have this at your place, Hughley. Oh, uh, you know, being Jewish, the problem with the holidays is we get the short end of the stick. You know why? Hmm? It's that song, dreidel, 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 ain't got no pop. Still got something with more of a beat. No, that's pretty much it. Bet y'all missing Sammy Davis Jr. now, ain't you? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Hughley. Well, hello. It's a marvelous pageant you have here. I see Santa Claus and the Nativity. Where's Schwartepeets? <laughs> Who's Schwartepeets? Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's part of a wonderful tradition of my ancestors in the Netherlands. Yeah. Santa Claus goes from house to house with his little servant, Pete's, and they give toys to the good children and coal to the bad. Ain't that something? You know what? Maybe we'll let your son be Sparta Pete, huh? <laughs> no, Mr. Hughley, Sparta Pete is a black man. <laughs> Wait a minute, yeah. Uh, so what you're telling me is that uh, Sparta Pete is Santa's black servant? Of course. Well, someone has to carry all of the coal. <laughs> oh, hell no! <laughs> the only black man in Highland and he's a slave? Tell me something, does this master Santa wear a white hood, too? <laughs> it's just our custom. Yeah, well, we got a custom around here, too, and it's distinctly anti-slave. No spots of peach. Whoa, but, but you said this was about tradition, and that's his tradition. Everyone's custom should be included. Well, then you can go home, too. I don't think I will go home. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell out of my house, I bet you. Come on, come on, come on. Let's just all sit down and talk about this. Honey, this Viking comes into my home, and he wants to repeal the 13th Amendment on Christmas? I didn't invent the custom. Look here, Dutch boy, ain't you got a house to paint or something? Oh. <laughs> the girls wrecking Christmas. This isn't what Daddy said it was supposed to be about. Come on, baby Jesus, let us bounce. That's <laughs> yeah, very funny, Mr. Hughley. Uh, do you have any windmill jokes? <laughs> oh, I, I got a windmill joke for you, and here is the setup. Oh, <laughs> Christmas, I'll have a Christmas, I'll have a Christmas. Daryl, honey, you feeling a little, um, blue? I ruined Christmas, and this is my punishment. Oh, Daryl, come on, quit being so hard on yourself. You've been like this for three days. I know, baby, but... I deserve it. I mean, I killed two pageants and I turned the entire neighborhood against itself. And I never knew I had so much pent-up anger at Holland. Yeah, look, the people out here have been having this problem for years, so cheer up, honey. For once, this is not all your fault. No, baby, but I let the kids down. I just wanted them to have a good time. I wanted them to get really excited about their first Christmas in the suburbs. I wanted it to be just like all the great Christmases I knew growing up. Except with better presents. Yeah. Name brand batteries. That's true. Heat. Right. Shoes. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Maybe we better go see. Come on. What is this? Us kids got together and decided to put on our own play. It's like you said, Dad. You can't celebrate nothing. You got to celebrate something. So sit down, Daddy. We have something we'd like to show you. Hit it, Ronnie. <laughs> Hanukkah is the Feast of Light. During the rededication of the Temple of Jerusalem, there was only enough oil to light the menorah for one day, but it lasted for eight. In honor of this, the menorah is lit every day for eight days. Ow! Ow! <laughs> A child is born. Oh, look at our baby, Joseph. Huh? Oh, yeah, cute kid. <laughs> and now my father will help us update the Dutch legend of Sinterklaas and Swartepeets. Yeah. 
And to you, Svarte Pete, I give the greatest gift of all, your freedom. Oh, happy day! <laughs> If you wanted something commercial, I could have done this for you. Hey, Daryl, now this is your yard. I think you need to get up there and say something. Come on. Okay. Well, I think we've all learned what can happen when people from all walks of life come together and forget their differences. And my man, you're crushing my roses. <laughs> All I wanted to do was to give my kids a traditional Christmas in their new neighborhood. But it looks like tonight, these children have started a tradition of their own. One that taught us all the true meaning of Christmas. So in honor of that, I'd like to offer my backyard so that this tradition can continue. So Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Feliz Navidad. Eggnog is on the house, and uh, Miss Inez. Why don't you run in there and blend up a picture of those mariachis? <laughs> I'm so glad to be working with adults again. This is genius, and they said I was crazy. Oh, my God, they really are butt naked, huh? Second from the left. You know those aren't real. Lighten up, honey. It's Christmas. <laughs> yeah, it is Christmas. Christmas, Washington. Hey, girl. All I want to know is, where am I supposed to put this dolly? Hey. 